Hi, I'm Renee. I am a nurse and patient educator at the Cancer Centre of Southeastern Ontario. This video is one of a series of videos designed to provide you with information about your chemotherapy treatment experience. In this video, we are going to talk about the chemotherapy treatment cycle, including how you can prepare and what you can expect while you are receiving care. Chemotherapy is often given in a series of cycles. While your cancer care team will give you the specific details of your treatment plan, here is a general overview of what the treatment cycle will look like. Each cycle includes a clinic visit, a treatment visit, and recovery days after treatment. These allow your body time to recover from side effects and give your healthy cells time to repair themselves before being treated again. In the next part of this video, we will talk about the clinic visit, including how to prepare and what to expect. You will be scheduled for a clinic appointment with your cancer care team usually once per treatment cycle. In most cases, the clinic visit happens a day before your treatment visit. This provides adequate time for the cancer care team to safely prepare your chemotherapy and reduces the amount of time you are waiting at the hospital. This is called a non-same-day visit. In some cases, depending on your treatment schedule, you may have your clinic and treatment visits on the same day. This is called a same-day visit. In other cases, if blood work or an assessment is required but your cancer doctor does not need to see you in the clinic, you may be instructed that you can get your blood work done and you will be assessed by a nurse either over the phone or in the treatment area. This is called a direct visit. Your team will discuss your individual treatment schedule with you. This can seem confusing at the start but with time you will learn how your visits will be scheduled on a regular basis. The clinic visit is an opportunity for you to communicate with your cancer care team and for them to assess whether or not you are healthy enough to undergo treatment. To help your team with this assessment, there are some things that you can do to prepare. Some people find it helpful to document any notes regarding side effects they have been experiencing and bring their notes to their visit so they can share them with the team. It is also a good idea to write down and bring any questions that you may have. For example, questions about prescriptions or side effects. Bring your patient binder to your visit. This is a good spot to document your notes and your questions and to write down any important information. Bring your health card. Bring an updated list of your medications if you have started to use any new ones. Bring any forms that need to be signed by your cancer doctor. You are encouraged to bring a support person with you to your clinic visit. It helps to have another person hearing the information, asking questions, and to provide support. Now that you have everything you need, you are ready to go to the hospital for your clinic visit. Next, we will look at what you can expect at your clinic visit. You can think of your clinic visit as having four steps. One, registration. Two, blood work. Three, self-assessment. 4. Assessment by your care team. I'm going to walk you through the steps, starting with your arrival at the hospital. Talk to your cancer care team or visit the hospital website for more information on areas closest to your clinic to park. The first step when you arrive for your clinic visit is to register for your appointment at the registration desk. Here you will speak with a registration clerk who will confirm your personal health information and check you in. Your blood work will be taken before each treatment cycle so the team can check your blood counts and make sure that you are healthy enough to receive treatment. In Kingston, you will be asked to arrive 45 minutes before your clinic visit to get your blood work taken. The purpose of getting your blood work taken 45 minutes early is so that the results are back for you to look at with your cancer care team during the clinic visit. For all patients, your team will give you specific instructions on when, where and how often your blood work needs to be taken. If you are getting your blood work taken frequently, talk to the clinic nurse to see if you can arrange for your blood work to be done at a community blood lab closer to your home. Before you see your cancer care team in the clinic visit, you will need to complete a symptom assessment self questionnaire. This can be completed at the computer kiosks in the waiting area. You will need to swipe your health card to complete the symptom assessment. A volunteer is usually present to assist you. 
The questionnaire will ask you to rate nine common symptoms on a scale of one to 10. The scores give your team an overall picture of how you are feeling. At the kiosk, the symptom assessment will print out. Bring the printout with you into the clinic room so you can share the results with your healthcare team during your visit. Once you have completed the self-assessment, you can sit in the waiting area prior to your appointment. The final part of your visit is the assessment with your healthcare team. This is the time to tell your team about how you have been doing and any side effects that you have been experiencing or any other issues that have come up since the last time you saw your team. Earlier in the video, I suggested that you write down and bring any questions that you have. This is the time to ask those questions. At this point, your team will let you know if you are fit to receive your next cycle of treatment. If your treatment needs to be delayed for any reason, or if you have to be scheduled for other treatments or tests, your team will let you know at this point. As a medical oncologist, my responsibility here is to prescribe a treatment for your cancer and to help you manage the symptoms that may develop as a result of those treatments. As we proceed with your cancer treatments, we will ensure that your family doctor is kept up to date with your progress. Once your treatments are underway, I will plan to see you once each treatment cycle, but more often if necessary. While you're on treatment, if you're outside of the hospital setting, we want to be sure that you have access to our specialists in case you do get unwell. Nights and weekends, there are always cancer specialists on call, and we make sure you're aware that you can call us at any time, 24 hours a day, to make sure that you stay safe. Hi, I am Elizabeth, and I am a primary care nurse at the Cancer Centre. You will see me during your oncology clinic visits. My role is to assess if you have any side effects related to your chemotherapy treatments and to assist in the coordination of your care. To summarize everything we have talked about in this video, you can prepare for your clinic visit by arriving 45 minutes early to get your blood work done, bringing notes about side effects, writing down and bringing questions, and bringing your patient binder. Once you arrive, your clinic visit will include four steps. Registration, blood work, symptom self-assessment, assessment by your care team. In this next section, we are going to talk about treatment visits, including how you can prepare and what you can expect while you are here. The treatment visit is the appointment where you will be receiving your chemotherapy. Here are some items that you must bring to your appointment. Your health card, your private insurance information, a list of your current medications, any medications that you take during the day, as your appointment may last a number of hours, your patient binder, to add any important information you receive during your appointment, money, if needed for parking or prescriptions. There are some other things that you can also do ahead of time to prepare for your visit. Eat a light meal breakfast or lunch before you leave for the hospital. Dress comfortably with arm sleeves that roll up easily. Avoid scented products. The length of your treatment can vary from 15 minutes to 6 hours, depending on the type of treatment. As a general rule, your first day of treatment will be the longest day, so you should bring whatever you need in order to be comfortable. Try to avoid booking other personal appointments right after you expect to be done at the cancer center in case your appointment is longer. Here are some items that you are encouraged to bring. A blanket or anything that keeps you comfortable. Drinks will be offered free of charge and there is a coffee kiosk with drinks and food in the cancer clinic, but you can also bring your own snacks and food if you wish. Avoid anything with a strong odor. Anything to help you stay occupied, like books, a laptop, or a tablet. The hospital has free wireless internet. You will have a small television with cable TV connected to your recliner chair that you can plug your earphones into. We encourage you to bring a friend or family member with you to stay during the treatment. We ask that you try to limit your visitors to two and for safety reasons, children under 12 are encouraged not to be in the treatment area. Now that you have everything you need, you are ready to go to the hospital for your treatment visit. Next, we will look at what you can expect at your treatment visit. Your treatment visit will generally consist of three steps. One, registration. Two, pre-medication. Three, chemotherapy. 
I'm going to walk you through all three steps, starting with your arrival at the hospital. The first step when you arrive is to register for your appointment at the registration desk. Here you will be given an armband to wear for your identification during treatment. If you are getting your treatment at a satellite clinic, you'll be instructed on where to go in the hospital to register and get your treatment. When it is time to begin your treatment, you will be escorted to a room where you will sit in a recliner chair as you receive your treatment. Here are some things to know about the treatment area. There is a washroom you can use while you receive treatment. There are curtains if you need privacy. The treatment area is open. The nurse giving you treatment looks after a pod which consists of three to four patients nearby at a time. Before you receive chemotherapy, your nurse may provide you with pre-medications that are intended to control nausea and reduce the chance of a reaction to the chemotherapy. Once the pre-medication drugs have been administered and the chemotherapy has been prepared by the pharmacy, your nurse will administer the chemotherapy through the IV. While you are receiving treatment, your nurse will check in on you regularly to take your vital signs. Your nurse will tell you if there's anything specific you need to watch for while you receive the treatment. Most patients do not feel pain or anything unusual while they get their cancer drugs. But if you do, tell your nurse right away. At your first visit, your nurse will also talk to you about specific side effects that may occur with your chemotherapy and answer any questions about side effects that you may have. Hi, I am Mary Ann and I am a chemotherapy nurse. I administer your chemotherapy and supportive therapy treatments in the chemotherapy suite. I am available to answer your questions and to assess your concerns as needed on the day of your treatments. If it is your first visit, you will probably get a prescription for medications to help with side effects. During your treatment, the pharmacist will also go over how to use the medications to manage your nausea or other side effects and to address any questions you might have. Hi, I'm Carly. I'm a pharmacist and my role in the cancer program is to help the cancer care team prepare your chemotherapy treatments and to double check the orders for the cancer drugs prescribed to you. I'm available to explain to you how your cancer drugs work, the possible side effects of your treatments, and instructions for taking medications at home, specifically your anti-nausea medication. You will get the chance to meet with me at your first chemotherapy treatment. Once your chemotherapy is done infusing, your nurse will flush your IV line with normal saline to ensure that you received all of the drug. The nurse will then disconnect you from your IV. In some cases, you may need to be monitored for a short period of time before leaving. But in most cases, you can leave right after you are disconnected. Most people do not feel too ill after they leave the treatment area. Many feel drowsy or tired from sitting in the chair or from some of the medications we give you before your treatment. We recommend you have a support person drive you home, especially if you live a far distance away. If you are treated in Kingston, it may be possible to receive your chemotherapy and other supportive treatments at a hospital closer to your home once your first cycle has been completed. These hospitals include Napanee, Brockville, Perth. A team of trained nurses, Pharmacists and physicians at these hospitals work closely with the cancer care team at the cancer center to provide your treatment and care. Ask your nurse or doctor if you would like to know more about getting your cancer drugs closer to home. Let's summarize what we've discussed in this section. Make sure that you bring the following to your treatment visit. Your health card, your private insurance information, a list of your current medications, any medications that you take during the day, your patient binder, anything to keep you comfortable like a blanket or a pillow or occupied like a tablet, laptop or iPod. Once you arrive, your visit will include the following steps. Registration, pre-medication, chemotherapy. Lastly, we want to remind you how you can call for help if you have any questions or concerns when you are at home. During the hours of operation, Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Call 613-549-6666 and enter the extension for your cancer doctor's medical secretary. The extension for your cancer doctor is located on the business card that was provided to you at your initial consult. 
The medical secretary will direct your call to the appropriate care provider. Outside of these hours, including holidays and weekends. If there is a change in your condition, or if you need help managing your cancer treatment symptoms, call the same number and push zero to speak to the operator. Tell the operator your cancer doctor's name and they will reach the on-call doctor for you. The on-call cancer doctor will return your call. If you are treated in Belleville, follow the instructions provided to you. In the event of a medical emergency, call 911 or go to the nearest emergency department. This concludes video two of our chemotherapy patient education series. If you have any additional questions about clinic or treatment visits, you can contact your cancer care team. If you want to learn more about chemotherapy and your treatment experience at the Cancer Centre of Southeastern Ontario, check out our website for more videos and resources.